Hello everybody, this is Patrick1969 and I have another video for you all and in front of the camera we have the very nice, very um, eh, not too expensive Galgu Cannon. Here we have Xe in the back saying hi. Let's put that on the side right there. Anyways, Galgu Cannon. This is a mobile suit in action. This is the uh, extended, sorry, mobile suit in action figure. And so I'm going to be showing you some of the stuff it comes with and giving you a little bit of information on it. And that's it. So anyways, this is um, pretty much the same thing as a Gelgoog, except it has a nice little camera on the head, and uh, it comes with another number of different accessories, and the biggest being this huge cannon. And as you can see, it has nice thrusters, so yes, the um, maneuverability of this figure is um, quite good. So anyways, there's the cannon, as you can see. And right there, okay. So Galgu Cannon, it has a lot of the same accessories as the uh, ordinary Galgoog, which means it has a beam rifle. There you go. There you go. It has a um, beam saber weapon. I don't know what this is called. I heard someone say it was a Hey Naga Naga beam weapon. I hope I'm not right. Otherwise, I'm sounding stupid saying that. But um, anyways, there's that, and it comes with, of course, uh, two different blade shapes for both sides of the hilt, and that is these beam saber blades, pretty common, and these um, blade beams, uh, beam blades. So there you go. Uh, comes with another number of different hands, including, oops, let me get them out, let me switch them around including the jazz grab hands the beam rifle f double fingers right there yes you use two fingers and uh, the beam hilt weapon thingy uh, holding hands so you got two of them right there uh, something new However, with the Gelgu Cannon, is you get this nice little shield, and you can put that on this side if you want, like that. Not much of a shield, it's pretty tiny. At least I think it's a shield, I'm not sure, probably not. But uh, anyways, you can put it on either side, and these little vents come off, like I did just now. So there's, so there's that, and then you also get this nice little uh, machine gun uh, for the forearm and so there you go so you get another number of different uh, weapons and uh, the posability of this figure is really good like I said it was an extended mobile student action figure so you know it's kind of like um, right there right before they started doing robot Damashi figures and whatnot can lift the leg like that no problem you have to put the armor down but that's still no problem uh, legs, ball joint. There's ball joints where where you want there to be ball joints. Um, shoulder, you know, really good articulation and whatnot. Let's take that off. Actually, let's put it back on. Anyways, it also has a nice little um, ace design right there. I have no um, information on that. But uh, anyways. This figure is pretty inexpensive, at least from what I've seen in the past. I don't go looking for stuff that um, I already have most of the time. So I can't tell you what it's going for right now. But what last I saw, it was going to be around $20. And that's for U.S. sellers who were selling it. Um, there's a guy named Anime King on eBay who has this figure. Or had it, at least at the time when I saw it. And it was going for pretty cheap. So, you know, definitely check it out on eBay. It's going to be worth your money. And it's going to be pretty inexpensive. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I want to also add that the eye slit on the Gelgoog is a lot better than on the ordinary Gelgoogs. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the eyeball is visible. And, uh, oops, almost moved the camera there. It's visible and stuff, so. Yeah, it's a really good figure. And you guys should definitely buy it. So anyways... 
that's been it. Thanks for watching. Hope uh, this video entertained you. And <coughs> excuse me. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. All right, everybody. Take care.